Hello everyone, today we're getting together for a new video in which we'll be talking about the energy conversion unit, which will enable you to boost your troop stats as well as various other stats that will become important, we're going to introduce them to you today. But first, I invite you to comment on this video with your Discord username because yes, now on each of my videos you can receive 100 plasma by commenting on the video within the first 48 hours of publication. The comment will be selected at random, so anyone can try their luck. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video. Now that you've done all that, let's talk about the 6 types of energy conversion unit you can get. Each type has a basic bonus. There are 4 primary units that will grant you attack, defense, lethality or health bonuses. There are also 2 rare units that will grant you hero final damage bonuses and hero final damage take reduction bonuses. We'll explain why these are so rare later, when we talk about crafting. Each of these units can be upgraded up to level 7, and at each level you'll see your primary bonus increase. A little subtlety. When you reach levels 3, 5 and 7, you'll be able to choose an additional bonus to apply to your energy conversion unit. Choose them carefully, because you won't be able to modify them afterwards. We'll also explain in the refinement phase why you need to be extra careful. Now let's talk about how to get these energy conversion units. You'll need to go to workshop and select energy conversion unit. The first day you get this update in your state, you'll have access to 10 free crafts. After that, you'll get 8 free crafts every day, with a 3 minute cooldown between each craft. Once you've used up your free craft, you'll be able to continue crafting using conversion unit fragment. But we'll come back to this later when we talk about the bundles available. For now, Let's get on with the crafting. You'll find each percentage of obtainment in the odds category, and we can see right away why the two units that concern heroes are the rarest, as you'll have to be very, very patient to obtain them. You'll mainly get level 1s, but you'll occasionally get level 2 or 3, not forgetting that you're guaranteed a level 2 or plus energy conversion unit after a certain number of draws. If you're lucky and get a level 2 or plus after the 5th draw, the amount is reset immediately. As I said earlier, when you run out of free craft you can buy bundles containing conversion unit fragment. There's a normal bundle that's updated once a week and contains a total of 5,700 conversion unit fragment for $285. There's also a discount bundle containing 6,500 conversion unit fragment for $185. Now that you know how to get them, let's talk about what to do with them. Still in the workshop, you'll find an energy refinement tab, and on the right you'll see your inventory. Here you'll find all the energy conversion units you've crafted, and you'll be able to improve their levels on a fairly simple principle. For example, let's take a level 1 unit, and once you've selected it by pressing confirm, you'll be able to choose two more. The target will be the one you upgrade, so the one you keep. The materials will be permanently lost. I advise you to use quick select only for levels 1 and 2. From level 3 upwards, you run the risk of using energy conversion units as materials that you'd rather keep. Other tips. You can also use the lock to prevent the unit from being dismantled or used as refinement material. Don't forget that dismantling is currently unavailable, but will be available in version 1.19.55, coming soon. When it comes to upgrades, there are certain limits. When your headquarters is at plasma 8 level, you unlock the possibility of upgrading your units to level 4. When you reach Plasma 11 level, you'll be able to upgrade to level 6. And to upgrade to level 7, you'll need to reach Plasma 12. Let's talk about the numbers. Here's a table to show you how many level 1 units you'll need to reach each level. 729 for level 7, for example. Let's move on to the last part of this video and talk about assigning these units to your troops. When you click on your troop buildings, you'll now see the Special Forces Engines button, which will only be available from level Plasma 8. You can see that three slots are available, the reason being that my troop building is at Plasma 10 level. When your Plasma 8 only one slot is available, two at Plasma 9 and four at Plasma 11. Units will only give their bonuses to the troop types to which they are assigned. Only bonuses that affect the behemoth are effective globally. Don't forget that two energy conversion units with same base stats cannot be installed in the same troops building. This means you can't install two attack units in the same building, for example. We'll stop here for this video, but if you have any questions, 
don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Take care and see you soon for another video.